Welcome everyone. If your iPhone's deactivated, if you log and press again, you should see the hello screen. Uh, if you see the lock screen, your iPhone is already activated. But if it's deactivated, let's get that changed. We're just going to swipe up like that to unlock. If your iPhone has a home button, just click the home button. We then need to choose our language and then our country or region. We have the quick start here and how this works is if you have an old iPhone, you can unlock it and bring it next to your new one. And this will help set up your Wi-Fi accounts and some other accounts they will transfer over. In my case, I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna select set up manually. And uh, from here, it's asking us to choose a Wi-Fi network. Before you connect to Wi-Fi, if you have a physical SIM card, I want you to insert this now into your iPhone. The reason why is the next screen here is the activation screen, and it's gonna check if your iPhone can be activated. Uh, some iPhones can activate without a SIM card, but when you put a SIM card in, the phone may be locked to a carrier and therefore it can't activate and it will lock you out. So if it locks you out, you can just remove the SIM card to get back in business. And once we've entered in the Wi-Fi password, your iPhone is now going to activate. So watch closely. Once the activation is done, there will be one of three screens that show up. So let's have a look here. The screen you want to see is this one the data and privacy. This means your iPhone was activated successfully and there was no problems found. The second screen is it's going to ask you for an Apple ID and password. And if this is your old Apple ID and this was your old phone, you will need to enter this one in for the iPhone to activate. If you bought this iPhone from eBay or third party website, then the iPhone is locked with the old owner's Apple ID. So you want to contact the old owner to remove the lock. If they can't remove the lock, you must return the iPhone. Otherwise it is scrap metal. If you have a iPhone and you want to insert your SIM card, you're not sure if it may be locked to a SIM. If you insert your SIM card and you can do this at any time and you get an error which says, unable to activate or it wants you to activate your iPhone again and it's failing, that means that your iPhone is locked and it does not support the SIM card you inserted. In that case, you will need to get your iPhone unlocked or use a different SIM card. But if you insert your SIM, you're getting signal and there's no error showing up, then your iPhone supports the SIM card either because it's the carrier which, is, uh, which it is locked to or the SIM is unlocked. From this point, everything is just on-screen instructions. Do you want to set up the face ID, you know, your touch ID, your passcode, just do whatever you would like. The one important thing is the apps and data. You can restore from your backups if you have one or even transfer directly from your old iPhone. If you do not restore your apps and data here, you will have to factory reset the iPhone in order to restore any data. And so make sure if you want to restore data, you do it now. If you selected don't transfer, you can always go back. But once you go to the home screen, you can't go back. So very important. And there we go. Welcome to iPhone. Swipe or press home. And the iPhone is activated successfully. If you want to check your SIM lock status, open the settings, general, and then look for about. And if we scroll down, network provider lock. If it says no SIM restrictions, the uh, phone is unlocked to all carriers. If there is a SIM restriction, then your iPhone is locked to one or a couple of carriers. Uh, with that being said, 
if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.